Hello and welcome to the first of this series of two-minute videos on English pronunciation. These videos are especially for French people learning English, but most of them will be useful for people who speak other languages too. Why a series of two-minute videos? Certainly not to replace work. I'm sorry, but the bad news is watching a few videos will not magically enable you to speak better English. However, if you watch the videos and do exercises and practice, you will get better at English. But practice is much more effective if you understand what and why you're practicing. A wise man once said, learning is the vestiges of thinking. If you do not think, you will not learn as efficiently. These videos were designed as part of a university course after all, and university is a place where we come to learn and to think. The reason I teach pronunciation is because so many of my French students and friends and colleagues say the same thing to me. I find it really difficult understanding spoken English at normal speed. The first thing to understand is that it's not your fault. Yes, French and English have 60 to 70 percent the same vocabulary, depending on the subject, because the Romans gave us lots of Latin vocabulary and the Normans gave us lots of French vocabulary. We even took grammar from Latin and French. But we already had a language which was a mix of Old Anglo-Saxon and Scandinavian. So we took lots of French vocabulary, thank you very much, but just pronounced it with an English accent. In fact, you could say English is just French pronounced badly. There are many things which the French and English pronounce differently. Firstly, our consonants. We have sounds which do not exist in French. For example, and of course, f and v. But even p, t and k are pronounced differently, not p, t, k. And we say r, not ch. And even our w is different. Secondly, our vowels are different. French has about 12 oral vowels. English has about 25 vowels. Thirdly, our intonation is different. French intonation sounds quite monotonous to our ears. Fourthly, but most importantly of all, the rhythm is different. When I am speaking French with a French accent, I must pronounce every syllable very carefully. Mais si je vous parle en français avec mon meilleur accent anglais, vous remarquerez tout de suite que le rythme est totalement différent. And that's the problem. That's why the music of English and French is the focus of my teaching and research. The good news is that if you work on your pronunciation, you can get results quite quickly. You'll never lose your French accent, which is okay. We all have an accent, right? But if you can imitate the problematic parts of English pronunciation, you will make progress. Each of these videos is about two minutes long. So that's less than an hour in total. And there are lots of activities and exercises to do on the university platform and on other websites. If you watch all the videos and do a few hours work, you will find listening to and speaking English much easier. I promise.